At Taylor's Furniture, they're preparing for their closeout sale in about two or three weeks. The longtime retailer on Polk Street is closing its doors and moving their operations to their 45th and Western location. They've been in Amarillo since the 40s, and they've been on Polk since the late 70s. Actually, when nothing was going on downtown and uh, interest rates were 14%, and it was uh, kind of a rough time to start, but uh, we've always uh, had a vision, especially my father, that uh, downtown is the hub of the, of, of the city. The Taylor store is just across the street from the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, so we look at it as good for Taylor because he knows what's best for him. Obviously we'll miss him being down there because he has been a fixture. Uh, but at the same time we look at that as, a, as an opportunity to grow a new business downtown and, and watch downtown take off as it continues to, to improve. In fact, the Taylor vacancy could open the door for something many think is needed downtown. There's very few stores the size of this building on Polk Street that could house a Walmart, a smaller United, a, uh, even a, a Walgreens. And uh, we've decided to put that up available. We've had some feelers out and uh, with what's coming downtown, we believe that there's going to be a need for a multi-purpose retail uh, store here. And Scott Taylor is not abandoning downtown. We aren't leaving downtown totally. We own the building next door and we've got an exciting new concept coming up next spring that I can't wait to talk about, but it's, uh, it's something Amarillo has uh, never had in modern day and we're very excited about it.